just want to do a tribute to Mark McGowan, the artist taxi driver. Chunky Mark, who does videos from his car. I've rented the car just for a week, small little car. And here we are outside Swinton Police Station. And the story I'm going to tell you, it doesn't compare to police cover-ups, it doesn't compare to police killing uh, black men in custody, and it doesn't compare to the dirty swine pig behavior during the Hillsborough disaster, where a bunch of police got exposed as being nasty, lying, and in a way murderous, um, ass-covering idiots. So, two policemen from this station here came and bothered me on the 23rd of September outside the Swinton Town Hall, which is just over there. They very aggressively accused me of um, filming children, and they said that unless I hand my camera over, I'd be arrested and handcuffed straight away. I tried to argue because I know PACE, I know the European Convention on Human Rights, Article 5, I know police powers, I know the street law such as Section 5, public order and breach of the peace. But, being the father of a young child, I cannot spend 12 hours in a police cell when I was out shopping for my newborn son. And so I complied, but I knew that I could make a complaint, I could um, bring the law-breaking to the inspector here, Inspector Findlow, who's the boss man at Swinton Police Station. Just so you know, Swinton Police Station lost a policeman who was, um, yeah, got fired for beating up a 15-year-old boy, a little boy, and he slammed his face down onto the desk and he lost his job. A jury and the police internally said, this is unacceptable behavior and you lost your job. So I did a big official complaint to uh, Greater Manchester Police and said, um, I was uh, threatened, I um, felt under duress, I felt I was verbally assaulted, and um, the worst pit bit is, is the hysterical way the police acted like Soviet or North Korean fucking police and took my camera and deleted evidence. They deleted footage, which is fully illegal. If you fast forward a couple of weeks to the 5th of November, there I was at home with my partner, with my stepson and my son, trying to get ready to enjoy bonfire night, and there's a massive banging on the door. You know the type the police like to do on your door. So I go and answer the door and there's two police there, full uniform, like saying, oh, we need to have a word, can we come in? I said, no, 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 no. And they, oh. and they had all this paperwork and they said, we need you to sign this. And they were forceful and look, we really need to sign this and we've had to turn up at your house because we don't have your phone number. Lies, lies. The inspector here phoned me to, to apologize for the unlawful deletion of the footage. So I said, what is it? I said, look, I'll come to the police station if you want. And I said, yeah, 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 please come into the police station, because I'm not going to have police come into my living room in their full fucking, you know, jumped up stormtrooper invading Poland uniform, sat in my living room when I'm trying to enjoy myself. So I came here and my big mistake, my big mistake after being fucked over by the Metropolitan Police in London, but who lied to me, many times been arrested and uh, the first time, it never happens again. You don't get fucked over like this again. They're like, oh, just give us your name and address and uh, you'll be de-arrested and nothing will happen. I said, really? This is the London one. So I gave them my name and address and said, oh, thanks. We'll see you in court, motherfucker. And anyway, I didn't trust the police this time because I put a claim in with civil litigation for the, this, to the illegal destruction of my footage, which is worth something. I want to get money from the police. And um, they know this, they know who I am, they know the controversy behind all my films. So I went in and I met up with the police, don't know if you can see that, Greater Manchester Police Complaint Resolution Form. And it talks about the complaint, it talks about um, how this is going to be resolved internally. And um, what I got the police to sign, this is Inspector Findlow's um, signature. It's because nowhere in this does it say by signing this your civil litigation rights are protected. So I got them to add this and sign it. This will not affect your rights to pursue a civil litigation case against the Greater Manchester Police. And I thought, fantastic, signed by Officer 3050, who is inspector level. He's the boss man in there. So I went along and I thought, well, you know, it's not going to affect my civil litigation case. And um, I should have known that they were desperate to get me to sign this because I could take this further. I might still do this with a lawyer. So I signed, as you can see there, on the 10th of November, 2012. And I thought, okay, my rights to civil litigation are protected. Behind the scenes, a day earlier, 
on the 9th of November, remember I went in there and signed on the 10th, a day earlier, a letter was created for me. Mr. Charles Veach, 9th of November, claim for loss of files. So it talks through the complaint. And anyway, this is the, this is the real fuck you that the police have given me at the end. Regarding your claim for compensation, this office assesses claims for losses or damage to items of property. Therefore, I'm sorry to say that we would not offer any compensation for the deletion of video footage. 9th of November. I did not know this letter had been created. As far as I knew, the inspector had said, yeah, you're going to get civil litigation. So on the 9th of November, this letter was created. And what I want to know is, why was this letter held for three days in Manchester? They only, they only posted it on the 12th of November, two days after I'd signed the form that, to say this had been resolved and I'm happy. Because I don't want to fuck over the pig. Sergeant Kirby, he fucked up. He broke the law. He deleted my footage. All I wanted was compensation. You know, you hit them where it hurts. In this filthy, nasty, economical world, I wanted money from these fuckers. So let me just try and get the timeline sorted out. 5th of November, they bang on my door, saying, please sign, please sign. I'm like, I'm not going to sign unless you guarantee that my civil litigation case is protected. On the 9th of November, they tell me to fuck off. This letter is held at the police uh, professional standards branch. Ignorantly, I go in a day later and sign. So what I want to know is, why was this letter telling me to fuck off held for three days at the police station? What I think, my conspiracy theory, is that they got me to sign away my rights, a complaint resolution record, and they like even fucking tricked me, saying, oh, this will not affect your right to pursue a civil litigation claim. And then, once they knew I'd signed this, once they knew I'd signed my fucking rights away to pursue a, a deeper complaint, they phoned up professional standards and said, hey, he signed it, send him the letter, send him the letter, he signed it. And that's what happens. I don't know what I'm going to do about this, but I just wanted to make a video to say to everyone around the world, whether you're in North Korea, Nigeria, Canada, America, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, USA, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland or Wales, is don't trust the police. Do not ever believe what a man in a black fascist uniform is trying to do. They are here to cover their asses. They are here to fucking stop themselves being sued. And they, in fact, in the last three years, I've had two vicious crimes committed against me, both of them by the police. One in Canada, which I got my compensation for, and one by Greater Manchester Police that fucking took my camera and deleted files as if he, as if he was like a, a jury-selected fucking member of some sort of Ministry of Truth. It's not the members of the public that have committed crimes against me. I've never been assaulted. I've never been punched. It's people in uniform wearing a fucking crown on their heads that have committed crimes against me. And then they do this smart little fucking holding letter thing to get me to sign away my rights. I'm going to see what I can do to reignite this complaint. I'm going to post this video, obviously, online for you all to see. And I'm going to be writing to Inspector Finlow to ask him to explain himself. And maybe, just maybe, I should do a freedom of information request to find out if there were any emails sent between the inspector and the professional standards branch, because I'd be very curious to know. And as I said, this isn't a Hillsborough disaster. This isn't a death in custody. But I just wanted to share with you guys how the police have lied and tricked me this one time. So there you go. Thank you.